Hello everyone, welcome back to Shadowrun Dragonfall. This is actually not the screen that I want. This is the screen that I want because we have a little bit of karma to spend. Um, we don't have enough to up the strength, which would be a good idea, I think. Um, let's see. I should probably improve my dodge, but there's something else that I would like to do. Which one? Is it intelligence? No, I don't think it is. Charisma. Where are you? Yeah, that's important. Uh, charisma, yes. Didn't I? Wait, what? Five. I thought. I had to double click it. Okay, that that's weird. Um, we have corporate. I would like to get gang next. It may come in handy for where we're headed for this next mission here. So, yeah, that's confirmed. We have one karma. No. I think we'll hang on to this. Okay, there we go. And let's head Board the train, okay. Assemble the team and travel to Das Kassenhaus Hotel to search for green winters. The drug pit. Das Kessel. Haas Hotel and Nightclub. Crown Jewel of... Oh, pardon me. Dragon... The filthiest... Kezen <laughs> in Berlin. Open the... Sorry. Opening the door to the ground level dance club is like bashing your head into a wall of sound. Flashing lights stab your eyes and the air is perfumed with cheap synthahol and engine grease. Everything in here is cranked up to 11. A playground for the numb. Green Winters is somewhere in this building. You steal yourself for the sensory assault and step inside. The team makes a quick check of their weapons and follows you into Das Kessenhaus. Hang on, didn't I buy clothes? Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry, I was looking. All right, items. We have no med kits. Oh, except for what we already carry. So, yeah, that's good. At least we have something. The troll working the door might be the shortest you've ever seen. And the thickest. Despite the pounding music and the writhing bodies, his face is buried in a comic book. I like him already. He looks up, gives you a cursory once over and sighs. Welcome to Das ha Hasselhaus. Now, now under new management. Again. There's no cover. Just go on in and get your fix. That's... Croner at the bar over there, he'll take care of you. He buries his nose back into his comic book while tapping a meaty thumb on the black plastic. Black plastic? 
Slung form at his belt. A high-powered stun gun. Ah. Just play nice. Or you meet Herr Zap. Have fun. I'm looking for someone. Maybe you know him? He keeps his nose in his comic book. I doubt it. This place is filled with interesting people just dying to meet you. So go meet him. His name is Green Winters. He, uh, no, uh, he's supposed to be some sort of F-State activist. Calls himself Green Winters. He brightens. An F-State activist? Why didn't you say so? Know where I can find him? His expression falls flat again. No. He puts down his comic book and his voice slows to a crawl. He makes a point of enunciating each word. I point people to the bar. If someone starts trouble, I give them a taste of hair zap. That's it. That's all I do. Find a way to access the hotel area. Okay. So we have the bartender, Croner. Inspect electrical panel. Hmm. Okay. Let's inspect. What kind? Of, a cheap sign done in black. Done in black lettering across the doors reads "Hotel Closed." I see. Uh, let's not do that as of yet. Anything over here? No. Yes. Come party with you. It's party girl, everybody! Party girl! The girl in the corner is a model slim junkie. A wide-eyed and nervous energy. She greets you with a smile so wide as to border on grotesque. Hey, hey, good looking. You want a party? Excuse me? Come party with me. You got some cram, right? I just love a lady that's willing to share. Uh huh. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. You're lost, sweetheart. That might be a way into the hotel. This is a VIP area. I can't talk to these people. Nope. All right. And you over here, we will investigate that interesting spot later. Mm-hmm. Anything over here? No? Okay. Alright, let's get to this investigate spot, please. The mu- <laughs> Jeez. The music out here on the floor is way too loud for comfort. The scene going down at the bar is even louder. The dealer on duty stands impassively behind the bar. A desperate-looking young woman is pleading with him, apparently to little effect. All right, Silky, I'm going to explain how this works to you one more time. I get my cash, you get your cram. No cash, no cram. P. 
period. But I need it, Kroner. Come on! Her words come out in a desperate whine. Pale skin, sunken eyes, and a trembling lip all point to the early symptoms of withdrawal. And I have cash. I totally do. It's up in my room. But you guys won't let me up there to get it. Hotel's under new management, beautiful. You don't have a room anymore. Whatever was up there, you might as well forget about it. But, but that's all. But that was all I had. And, you know, I have to get it right soon. Well, maybe we could work out a trade. Cram for services. Services? Understanding slowly shows on the young woman's face. Her eyes go wide. Come on, Croner. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Do you want the cram? Or not? She sets her jaw. A look of disgust on her pale face. That ain't going to happen, Chummer. Not now. Not ever. The bartender shrugs. I, I give you about half an hour before the shakes set in. When that happens, you know where to find me. He turns to another customer with a smirk, leaving the desperate young woman crumpled against the bar. Okay, come on. There we go. An expensive bottle of scotch from the color. You'd guess that the contents were less than 50% water. Or at least 50% water. <sighs> Silky looks up at you. A look of... Uh, Abject misery plastered across her face. Leave me alone, okay? I've got problems to deal with. Ah, uh, Kroner is a uh, direct stain. I'll hook you up with some cram. Free of charge? A cram habit is a rough thing to shake. I know a place that can help you get clean if you're interested. Sounds like the new management stole your property. Answer some questions for me, and I'll help you get it back. Really? That'd be... Well, that'd be incredible. Her lips struggle upward into a... Facey smile. Facey smile? Of a smile? I really need that money, and I left some things in there, too. You know, personal stuff. I can be very discreet. My stuff should be up in room 304. That's where me and Nadja and Sarah were staying until, well, you know. I'll be waiting right here when you get back down. So, uh, what, what did you need to know? Tell me whatever you can about the gang that's taken over the hotel. Bad guys, I mean, like, real bad guys. The gang that used to run this place wasn't all bad. They kept the cram flowing, the prices weren't too high. They never hassled me as long as I kept buying. The new guys killed them all when they took over. Now I'm stuck dealing with assholes like Kroner. The floor manager, Frank, had a thing for my girl, Sarah. He was always coming coming on to her, no matter how many times she told him no. I haven't seen her since the takeover, but he won't stop asking me about her. Guy's a real creep. That's about all I can think of. I steer clear of the new guys when I can. She steals a glance over her shoulder at Kroner, a scowl on her face. I shouldn't have to tell you why. 
what can you tell me about the layout of the hotel? Well, um, it's a nice enough place, you know, for a factory. Let's see, well, okay. The second floor is a security station. Lots of high-tech stuff up there. And I've heard stories about the penthouse level, something about a sealed vault. There's supposed to be something really, something real valuable in there, but nobody knows what it is. Doesn't stop him from talking about it, though. Have you heard of a guy named Green Winters? No, I don't think... Oh, wait! Yeah, I bumped into him here a few days ago. I remember because his name sounds all kind of chewing gum. I don't think I remember seeing him leave, so he's probably holed up in his room. I'm pretty sure that there are still some people up there. The ones that the gangers missed. I hear they locked themselves in. Hmm, I need to get up to the hotel. Any idea who I talk to about that? You can talk to Frank. He's the floor manager. He'd have an elevator key. She points to the north end of the club. He's over there on the VIP balcony. See the greasy jackass in the oversized suit? The one drooling all over the table dancer? That's Frank. That's class. Ugh. Thanks, you've been very helpful. Sure thing, just hurry back with my stuff, okay? I really, really need it. Okay, so we have a few choices here. Let, let's see what uh, Kroner has to say. New lady, huh? Ain't seen you around here before. What can I get you? I overheard your little conversation with Silky here. Silky there. Hey, she wants her cram, she gotta pay. Same as anybody else. <laughs> your bosses might like to know that you're jamming their customers in exchange for their merch. What do you think? Okay, pal, here's the deal. The guards here, they don't discriminate. If I call them, they're going to kill everyone in this room other than me. So unless you want to see the bodies start dropping all over this club, you back the hell off. Now, do you want to buy something? Okay, let's see what this, because this might... It's 150, I'll buy one. Alright, let's see. I'm looking for a guy who calls himself Green Winters. No? He looks at you suspiciously. Think so. Maybe might be staying upstairs. Know what he looks like? Old. He doesn't use. But he's a raging drunk. That's all I got. Now, do you want something? I'm leaving. I didn't want to ask too much more because it felt like tipping one's hand. Before speaking to Frank, I want to take a look at the electrical panel. I'm just kind of hedging bets here at this point. Let's see, is there a way just to pop open the elevator here? Drone control. Okay, it looks like the elevator's locked down, but the control system is tied to the building's LAN. Rig into the building to call the elevator. Yeah, okay. Obviously, being a phys ed, that is just not possible. We can talk... Uh, maybe we should talk to her. Maybe we can get some information out of Party Girl. With a cram. Hey, good looking, you're back. You got the cram? Give her a bottle of cram. Let's see what... The girl's hands shake 
uh, snakes forward with alarming speed in the blink of an eye. She snatches a cram inhaler from your hand. Uh, click? Thank you. With practice ease, the girl snaps the cap off the ample and raises it to take a hit. With a practice hand, she injects a squirt of orange liquid into the corner of each eye. Her whole body begins to shiver as the drug kicks in. Oh, that's so, so much better. I feel, I feel alive again. How do you like the guys that run this place? Oh, they're terrible. The worst. Loud, violent dreckheads with grabby hands. But they have cram, so what you gonna do? The gang that used to run this place? Now they were classy. They had this awesome stuff. It was like if Cram and Novacoke had a baby, that's what it would have been. It was dreamy. Heard anything about the hotel upstairs? Oh yeah! Lots and lots and lots of people say that it's haunted. It's like there was this little girl who died in one of the rooms back in early 2000s. I think she like drowned or suffocated. I remember she fell out of a, out of a window. Oh no, wait, I got that wrong. It was a little boy. Anyway, he haunts the hotel, I think. Or maybe it was a giant bug. Is that the story I'm thinking of? I don't remember. Oh, and I remember hearing stories about a crazy troll running around in his underpants. I don't think he had a name. He just ran around and broke things. Things were kind of wild before the new gang took over. So, uh, how long have you been partying here? Oh, a real long time. I go where the cram flows. She raises a hand to her lips to stifle a high-pitched giggle. You know? Yeah, this is a really great place. Well, it was a better place before it got taken over. But it's not too bad now. It's still got cram, right? <laughs> it's been fun, but I've got to get going. Oh, okay, baby. You come back anytime. Just bring more cram when you do, okay? Okay. Frank it is. Come here, Frank. I'm out of water. Balls. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, pin to the floor, man. Pin to the floor. Managers, too expensive for this neighborhood and too baggy to be his suit is a name tag, Frank. Yeah, what you need? Reluctantly, he shifts his attention away from the elvish dancer, elvish dancer swaying in front of him. I need to get into the hotel. Hotel's closed. We're, uh, fumigating up there, you know, for bugs. We're in Doppenkip. You think I care about a few bugs? I need a room. Look, buddy, close is close. That's what we are. Okay, so I have two etiquette choices here. Um, don't have the bribery. Uh, oh yeah, because of the money I spent. Um, he licks his lips and turns his attention back to the dancer. She maintains her thousand meter stare over his head. Now take your business to the bar or take it outside. Frank, look at us. We're here on business. Corporate business. I can see that you're running an operation here. 
Well, but it's a pretty delicate one. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Attack him? All right, all right. And I, because of the suit, I think I'm going to try the corporate etiquette. Business, huh? Frank pauses for a moment, considering. Look, we don't want any uh, corporate trouble around here. <laughs> Dietrich, plus is a grin. Neither do we. Frank looks from, uh, from you to Diedrich to Edgar to Glory and back to you, then fumbles in his pocket for something. Okay, right. The elevator is open. Just try to keep things quiet up there, okay? You'll never know we were here. Okay, that got us in. That's fine. We got some information from her, so we will attempt to retrieve her property. Uh, 304, if I remember correctly. Come on, let's go. Second floor is employees only. This elevator seems mechanically sound. That's about all it has going for it. Candy wrappers and new syringes litter the floor. And the handrails are... Ew, inexplicably sticky. It would appear the cleanliness isn't a high priority for the hotel staff. I'm going to pop to the third floor, see if I can grab her stuff, and then from there, start exploring. That's 302. We're not going to go into 302. 303... Wait, it did. Uh, uh, did did she say optional? Come on. It doesn't have a room number. Look at that. I, I'm pretty sure it said three o four. Okay, so where's... Th uh, 304. Encoded credit stick... Silky signed cookbook. Now a stuffed bear? That's incredibly important. What's... Who's in 305? Anybody? Oh, look at that. Destroyed bit of the floor. The floor at the end of this room is beginning to cave in. A trickle of light spills up through the cracks in the floorboards from another room below. With a low force, you could probably open a hole big enough to drop down into the second floor from here. We're going to walk away for now. That note that says, Do not enter, I am curious about because we don't know where this uh, green winters guy is we don't know floor or anything so what's this 
So we'll try 302, and I bet it's a setup for a fight. So let's. Of all the possible things to come across, I, I have to say, a giant scorpion is not at the top of my list. Uh -uh. Just... Uh. Let's go over here. Killing hands. Can we activate? Oh, come on. Okay. Edgar? Can I get you to move here? And fire? Damn! Killing hands is passive? Okay, I'm going to... End turn? Here. Overwatch. Can you please overwatch? No. Fine, we'll do it this way. Um... Okay, three damage. That was bad. Can I get in here? It's not working, so what's going on? Why... Why can't I cast? That's so weird. Arrgh. Okay. There's a note on the door. His food is in the crisper drawer. See you next week. Steven. How weird. Okay, so why the hell was I not casting that? That was... Okay, er, I don't know. Eh, sorry about that. The game minimized on me, so it just suddenly stopped. Uh, back. A keypad? And it decided to do it again. Oh, bad for this game. This is a scratched and dented bathroom door onto the simple hydraulic. Mechanism number okay. Do I want to go? Yeah, I'm going to go to the first floor hotel.
Okay, so we searched the third, but we do want to go to the third if we want to get to the second. So now we have what's her name's belongings. That's good. So open door. Philco DynaSafe Computer Control System version 2.4. Access safe. Please input password. Uh, cancel. <laughs> Walk away. Have no, no password, unless if it's here. No, oh, but we got a little bit of money that certainly covers our cram that we used to get some information that there's probably a troll running around that will want to kick our ass. Hmm, 106, what's up here? Oh, hang on. Crumbling wall. We might be able to get into 103. This section of the wall seems to be buckling under its own weight. The aging wallpaper that lines the rest of the hallway has long since peeled away, revealing the structure of the wall underneath. Ah, uh, shoulder chuck the wall. The, while the underlying structure is reinforced with steel support struts, you can see signs of rust and metal fatigue everywhere. The entire wall looks like it could give away if enough force was applied. You slam into the wall and it gives away with a crunch. Nice. Interesting. Searching through the clutter on the desk, you find a small synth leather bound journal. Leafing through the pages of the book reveals only a couple of entries. Each of them scrawled in frantic, barely legible handwriting, with crude doodles filling up the margins. Okay, okay, okay. I know Eddie's up to something. Like, I heard him today talking to that guy who works in the kitchen, asking him whether the cleaning supplies... where the cleaning supplies was at. I've seen Eddie's room... And the dude never cleaned a day in his life. I'm going to follow him tomorrow and figure out what his deal is. Maybe he's just stealing mouthwash, selling mouthwash to the hobos a block down at the old bus depot. <laughs> the second entry. Ah, we can get third floor bathroom code in there. I knew it, Fraggin' Eddie. I saw him yesterday. I was up on the third floor because the vending machine down here was out of Soycaf. So he came up and went over to the out of order of the train. He punched in the code. Didn't know I was watching, did you, Eddie? Well, ain't so stupid. He put in 2478, and I'm going to stay up and find out what he's hiding in there. 2478, okay. Well, we should probably take a look at that. That was for the third floor. This one is an open door, though. Nothing in here. Okay. Now, what's down here? What's this? Ah, trauma kit. Oh, okay. Can't go wrong with that. Seriously. Time for the elevator. Let's go, guys. 2478 was the code.
Two, four, seven, eight. Submit. The door unlocks. What's this? Jazz? Really? The guy was cooking. Ugh. Anyways. Wait. I think we should pop down to the second floor at this point. Oh, it no, it's here. Let's go to the second floor. Now, why the hell wasn't I casting? That was frustrating. Because I'm missing something obvious. I'm just not saying it. Smash the boards and jump down. That's kind of funny. A frightened man. Hello there. Please don't hurt me. I'm just a lying cook. The cook's darting eyes are wide open. Behind them you, you see pure animal terror. If you let me go, I won't tell anyone, I promise. Why are you locked in the kitchen? Wait, you're not with those guys out there? I, um, well, I just thought... You thought what? I thought you were one of them. You know, the gangers that took over and shot up the place. I work... He catches himself. That's to say, I worked. I worked for the previous owners. When the shooting started, I shot myself in here. They, whoever they are, haven't figured out how to override my keys yet. It's been a day and a half, and I don't know how much longer I can stay here. Who's the stiff behind the sink? Ugh, damn it. That's the head chef, Felix. He took a hit to the chest when they raided this floor. I thought I could stop the bleeding, but, um... The cook lowers his gaze to the floor as we... I couldn't. Ah, uh, sorry to hear. Yeah, thanks. Tell me anything you can about this place. Room 401 code. Okay, um, um, I, I think there's some sort of a chop shop up in room 401, like low level street dock stuff. I had to deliver room service there one day when we were short staffed. What I saw when I, when they opened the door scared the track out of me. People hooked up to tubes and stuff. Door code was 5870. If you want to take a look. I need to get moving. Wait. You'll help me out of here, won't you? I mean, you're not just going to leave me here to die, are you? There's still gangers out there. You'd be safer in here. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. I'll just stay here then. The line cook steals a glance at the dead chef lying crumpled beneath the sink. With him. I already forgot the code. Isn't that funny? Regroup now. Crap. Uh, 
How do I act? Is it hotkeyed? Is it one? Is it F1? No. Why can't I cast it? This is so weird. I'm a little frustrated that I'm having trouble figuring this out. And I had it last time. Okay. So why can't I cast it? Yeah, okay, it's equipped, so... Can I cast it, please? Okay, fine, whatever. End? No, that's not the end I wanted. Good thing. Missed. And missed. There's three of them. Oh, that is so frustrating. Fine. I'm going to have to go with Machete because apparently I can't. All right. Um... That's not what I want to do. Great. Okay, go here. And I don't have a shot. All right. No. Fourteen damage. Can you do another one? you in position here. That's three. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is getting ugly really fast. Another fucking grenade. Go back here. You are of no help. That's one down. Damn. How? Shotgun. Oof. Uh, 
Okay, so how am I... Why am I unable to do the simple things? Oh my god! Okay, we're just going to go over here. Um, can't do the lightning. No. Let's see if we can take you out. Two damage, not much. That looks like a mess. Have to reload. Confirm. Only one, okay, fine. Damn, come on. Ah, oh, shit. Can I please use the trauma kit on me? Why can't I? Why can't I use the trauma kit on me? Because I'm reading it wrong, I'm being an idiot. I think that's it. Okay, fine, we'll have to end turn. Oh no, come on. Missed, good, shotgun, two more. Ow. Oof, only three damage though. Okay, um... Lightning isn't up. <laughs> okay. Okay, I should have hit gone for the open one. Immediately now, let's see. Was that how we I missed? Gone. Do I have another shot? Line sight blocked. Line sight blocked. Go up here, please. That's a 32% chance. That's a 68. Down. You healed 10. Ow. Go to here. Good try. Got him. Thirty damage. Can I heal you? That's not, that's... Ugh. Hold up, what's here? Hotel Administration Terminal? Okay, uh, navigation options. Uh, search guest registry by name. Search current guest registry by room number. 
401. What's that? Apparently not. Green Winters? Currently staying on 4th floor, room 405. Read the attached notes. Guy in the master suite on 4 asked for his room code to be changed again. Paranoid son of a bitch. Anyway, dude's been renting one of our biggest rooms for months, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. New code is 1989. Admin services? Enter admin password. We don't have the password. Okay. Now what's in here? Anybody else? We've done the third floor, so we got the fourth floor. Four oh one wasn't in the system. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, so hang on. Actually, does it list our health here? I don't think it does. Okay, now... What was the code for that? No, that's our gear, that's that, that's saving, that's... Room 401 code, there we go, mission items, 5870. You're kidding, right? There, it finally worked! For fuck's sakes. That's what I was doing before and it wasn't working. Anyways. We'll just move over here. Done. There's more in here. So take cover. Oh, shit! Glory! Oh, where'd you. Whoa! whoa. Do I have a line of sight here? No. Let's go to the bed here. We can also start casting heals. I'm going to get you to stand in the open. Crazy move. But, damn. 
Okay. Unload on this guy. Yes. Oof. Oh, that's bad. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. It's a start. Oh. Go here. Flanked your ass. Schematic auto injector mission item added. Okay, now I didn't see anything in here, but I'm going to double check anyways. And we should be healing people up, honestly. Advanced med kit. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, that's good. 13 hit points healed. Um, I think we need another heal. I think we need another heal. Activate and for me, confirm. And uh, I think I, I think glory will be okay. We can use a uh, magic heal. Nothing else on this. Oh wait, what's this? No, that's four oh five. Right, that's where we want to go for green winters. I'm wondering if we should. I'm going to go to the ground floor and just for a moment and give her her stuff back. Charisma 3, I have it, but I think I deserve some credits for my efforts. No, I'm just going to hand her belongings over. Really? You actually went up there and got my things? She stares at the items in her hands indirectly. And you didn't just walk off with them. Well, um, thank you. 
When you said that you were going up there, I didn't think I just... Her lips start to quiver. Thank you. I was just thinking extra karma. Oh, is there something new that you have to offer to say? A cram habit is a rough thing to shake. I know a place that can help you get clean if you're interested. Who, like, said that, that I want to shake anything? She gives you a sour look. Look around you. Like, what do you see? Of course you don't. My life is better on cram. Why would I ever want to stop? You're near rock bottom, Silky. When you hit it, there will be nowhere to go but up. Yeah, maybe so. But what makes you think you're the one to help me? What makes you think that anyone can? Experience. But nobody can help you if you're not ready to help yourself. If you want people like Kroner out of your life forever, you'll think about it. I wish I had that. Stop it, please. Just stop, okay? I don't need your help, and I don't want it. As strong as Silky's words are, her voice sounds unsure. From the way that she is fidgeting, you can tell that you've struck a nerve. <sighs> Point to Croner. Do you want to wind up working for him? Oh, I wish I had that. You only have a limited time to spin on this rock. Spending it stone is a waste, and that's a terrible thing. She rolls her eyes at you. Please, look. I'm sure you're just trying to help, but you're getting on my nerves here. It's not my business anyway. I don't even know you. So just leave me alone, okay? Fine, fine, fine. That's right, you can't. I'm going. Take care of yourself. I always do. Yeah, just get a whole bunch of karma, increase it to get the street etiquette or the intelligence and just go, Kroner. Want to work for him? I think we might be able to save her. Now this video has gone over, I'm pretty sure, with the minimize, it's created three video files. So let's see if we can finish up with... Um, Green Winters here. Uh, let's see. Hang on. We need... We only have two karma. That's actually not the screen I wanted. Is it G? It's G. No, it's not G. So that's Cyberware. I don't want that. Uh... F? J? Oh, god damn it. My brain's mush. See, yeah, he changed his code. Cancel, and it's that code that I need. J, K, no, H. Inventory, no. N, no. M, B, no. See, it's not character. How about this? No, it's, it's that other screen. Yeah, no, I don't want to activate that. So what is that? You think it would be journal or quest? It's not quest. Give me a fucking break. I may stop it here just because I can't find the bloody information. No, that's not... Wow, please. Th this is retarded. 
Because I've hit it a bunch of times, and yet... Journal, okay. <sighs> That's not showing me anything I need. Okay, it's that. Give me a break. Okay, 1989. Okay. Oh my god. Sorry about that. 1989, submit code. The door unlocks. Where is he? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, shit. <sighs> Biofeedback. The scene is eerily familiar. The dead man is still jacked into his smoldering computer, his face contorted into a mask of pain. Blue smoke spills from his data jack, like Monica. And there's something else. The man's outline is wrong. It takes a moment to realize for it to sink in. His back is bent it at an impossible angle. Jesus. Looks like he can fall hard enough to break his own spine. Is that even possible? Glory gestures at the twisted form on the corpse. You tell me. Edgar kneels beside the corpse, bending to peer at his face. Matches the, the description that Al Alta gave us. It's Green Winters. She straightens, glancing back over at the body before returning her attention to you. This what happened to Monica? I suspect that it would have. We jacked her out in time to prevent it. Still think you could have prevented Monica's death, Edgar? No. Too bad he didn't have a buddy to jack him out. No. The first two I just don't like. That's pushing buttons, and that's something that we don't want to do with our team. Hell of a way to go. Yeah, I'm getting that. Edgar takes another look at the broken corpse, and you can see the uncertainty growing in her eyes. I've seen biofeedback deaths before. Never seen anything like this. Kneeling to inspect the body, you find smears of blood on the carpet under Winter's right arm. Moving the arm aside, you find a number written across the floor. 91612. You use your PDA to take a holographic of the number and the body, then step away. Hanging on the wall is a large, yachty framed painting, an unimaginable unimaginative still life of some kitchen object sitting on the table. Move the painting aside. There is nothing there. <laughs> Red herring. Red herring. Bravo, guys. Bravo. To the developers. That was, that was smooth. I like that. Hanging on the wall is a large, gaudy frame painting, an impressionist landscape interpretively rendered in splotches of cheap acrylic. A nameplate in the frame reads, Her Hers Mountains, 2011. Move the painting aside. There is a small locked safe installed in the wall behind the painting, a key mounted. 245, cancel. 
Okay, well, we can try that number because I think it's a five digit number. But I need uh, that number is 91612. 91612. Let's try that. 91612. Submit code. Inside the safe, you find a bundle of old, well worn media discs. The words, Watch me have been hastily written on the back of the topmost disc. Inspect the discs. The disc labeled Watch Me looks almost new. The others are clearly much older, and many of them are badly scratched. The last two discs in the bundle are stuck together, and when you try to pry them apart, the readable surface of the bottom disc peels away. Huh. That's a phone. Sound like an alarm system. I got scared. Hey there, Chief. Don't hang up. I've got a proposition for you. I'm listening. You've probably noticed that this building is under new management, right? I'm judging by the fresh corpses that I'm seeing strewn all over the hotel. I'm going to guess that you didn't like the new guys any better than I do. Well, I'd like to make you an offer. You help cover my escape, and I'll, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'll get you into a secure vault on the top floor. Belong to the leader of the gang that used to run this place. Trust me, it's still secure. I set up the security protocols myself. The last decker they brought in to take a crack at and it came back out on a stretcher. They haven't found too many volunteers since then. Tell me about the gang that used to run the hotel. They called themselves Schwaz Harzen, and they pretty much ran dropping uh, Kepi until a few days ago. They weren't a pleasant bunch, but they were better than the jackasses we got here now. Uh, we're going to use the etiquette gang. There's something about this that you're not telling us. From the pause on the other end of the line, you can tell that you've caught bl Blitz off guard. Yeah? What is that? If you set up the matrix security for the vault upstairs, you must have been a member of the Schwarzschild Herzen. That's not the kind of job that a street gang would hire a contractor for. They'd use someone they knew they could trust. Yeah, okay, I was a member for a while. But the old boss got himself killed in a firefight, and his second in command took over. That was when the new guys moved in. I guess that they sensed weakness. And and the Schwazer Harrison were still disorganized from the transition. Anyway, long story short, I didn't consider myself a member anymore. I just want to get out and do my own thing. Fair enough. We'll not push further with that. Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you want to clear out the safe or what? Yeah? Where do I meet you? Room 505, on the penthouse floor. Come rendezvous with me there. Rendezvous with me here. I'll take you to the vault. But that is actually where we are going to stop it. I'm going to save. I don't think there's anything else of value on this on this floor. So I've taken care of it. That's excuse me. Holy jeez, that's good stuff. All right, so I do hope that you enjoyed this rather long video, but uh, we have almost finished up with the hotel, and we found Green Winters. Twisted Corpse. Yeah. 
Anyways, you can subscribe down below for more videos like this and of other videos. But until when next we meet, please do be safe, everyone. Bye!